Hey, what's up guys, Scott here, and welcome to this Monday match Mohamed Salah review. As you can see, we have him in a very, very sweaty Syria team, because he is a very, very sweaty player. He's got 94 pace and 86 dribble on his card, so as you can probably imagine, in-game, he's pretty quick. And to be honest, he did. He felt rapid, and uh, that made him pretty fun to use. So pace hauls, you might want to pick this guy up and try him out. He does feel a bit quicker than his normal card, and I think that's actually down to his dribbling, because as I say, his dribbling felt great. Six games played, seven goals and two assists for this guy. He's left footed on the right side, so it's nice to cut inside and shoot with him. Crossing wise, there's no issues to most. His crossing's decent, I won't say it's anything spectacular, but it's decent and you can cross on either foot because his right foot wasn't too bad to be honest. Now he's got 60 strength and 82 balance. His balance felt a lot better than that in game, I do have to say. But um, his strength, he does get shoved off the ball fairly easily, but because he's got a good balance, he stays on his feet and gets back at the ball, which is good to see. Now, he's got 74 finishing, and this is something I need to talk about, because his finishing for me was so hit and miss, it was very inconsistent. But the fact that he's so quick, so good on the ball, and create chances so easily, um, he can afford to miss some chances because he's going to get more. And eventually he will put the ball in the back of the net. But as I say, overall I didn't think too much of his finishing. But the fact that he was so quick and could get back into those positions meant that he did have a lot of chances to uh, redeem himself. So going into the clips, as you can see, I was strength by Alaba, but not put on his ass, stays on his feet, gets into a good position, and eventually does get his chance and puts the ball in the back of the net. Now I need to talk about the position after saying that, because half the time he felt like a second right back. He sat so deep in midfield, it was extremely, extremely frustrating to use this guy at times because when you have him on the ball, he's very fun to use because he's very quick, really good to dribble with. and like the, He's like a good player for FIFA because you know how much FIFA is built around pace this year. This guy is fun to use, fun to dribble with, and uh, obviously just in general, yeah, just fun to use. Um, very quick to react as well. But the fact that his position sometimes sat him so deep in midfield, it was frustrating because it kept him out of play and sometimes it didn't even bother on some counter attacks. So that was a bit annoying as you can probably imagine. He scored a great goal previously as you just saw, taking the ball from under Marcelo and putting it in the back of net. And look at this run. Stays on his feet. That is some really good balance, some really good dribbling and eventually the guy has to take me out of while Salah would have had um, an easy run at goal. But yeah, as you can see, incredible dribbling on this guy and he was just so fun to just keep running with. So if you pick this guy up, Give him a bit of time and just keep running at defences because I'm telling you, some defenders will just not be able to keep up with this guy and he will just run in and out of them and eventually find his way to go, either scoring himself or setting one up or maybe missing because, as I say, his finishing is pretty inconsistent. Anyway, overall, I did give him an 8.25 out of 10 and uh, some of you can think that's a bit odd, but um, I honestly couldn't decide to give him an 8 or an 8.5 because, as I said, the finishing for me was just so hit and miss that I am, um, yeah, you guys may have to try him out to see what that's like for you because, as I say, he had a lot of chances, he missed a lot of chances, but um, he created more and scored them, so that's something to bear in mind. Anyway, the positives, as you can probably imagine, he's rapid. He really is very agile and his balance is great. Negative, I need to talk about that positioning. He sits back too much for my liking, and uh, that was a bit frustrating. Just going to add something in quickly. I know one comment that I'm going to get is Man of Match Salah or Quadrado, and for me, I would definitely go with Quadrado. So I just want to add that in just before we end the review. So anyway, guys, 8.25 out of 10 for Mohamed Salah. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, remember to leave a like, comment below if you'd like to review next. Have a good day. Adios. Hey, what's up guys, it's Calvin Fifi here, and welcome to this informed Reba review. Now you're about to see what I paid for this guy, just bear in mind I bought him as quickly as possible so I could get his review up for you guys. Yeah, I paid 11 million coins, holy crap, that is pretty expensive. Anyway, in 6 games he scored...